Feast of St. Stephen, the First Martyr A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of the young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Christmas Day, we had the crib of the newly born child, with the singing of the angels and the visit of the shepherds. Today here is the blood of Stephen, stoned to death, because he had the courage to believe in the promise expressed in the simplicity of the crib. Stephen criticized the fundamentalist interpretation of the law of God and the monopoly of the temple. This is why he was killed. Today, which is the feast of Stephen, the first martyr, the liturgy presents us a passage from the Gospel of Matthew, taken from the Sermon of the Mission. In it, Jesus advises the disciples that fidelity to the Gospel implies difficulties and persecutions, they will hand you over to the Sanhedrin and scourge you in their synagogues. But for Jesus, what is important in persecution is not the painful side of suffering, but rather the positive side of witnessing, you will be brought before governors and kings for my sake, as evidence to them and to the Gentiles. Persecution offers the occasion of giving witness of the good news which God brings to us. This is what happened to Stephen. 
He gave witness to his faith in Jesus to the last moment of his life. At the hour of his death he says, I can see heaven thrown open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. And in falling dead under the stones, he imitated Jesus crying out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Jesus had said, when they will hand you over to them, do not worry about how or what you have to say, because it will be given to you at that moment what you have to say, in fact, it is not you who will speak, but the spirit of your father who will speak in you. This prophecy is also fulfilled in Stephen. His enemies did not succeed in resisting the inspired wisdom with which he spoke. The members of the Sanhedrin all looked intently on Stephen, and his face appeared to them as the face of an angel. Stephen spoke filled with the Holy Spirit. This is why the anger of the others was so great that they killed him.